So pace and bounce has undone Tushar Imran and Sharia Nafis. And Mohamed Ashrafal is coming in to face the hat trick delivery. 20 years of age. Avenger at under 20 again. Best of 100, that was the other day against Australia. It doesn't come much better than that in uh, his career. 51 matches. A wholly different set of circumstances face him here today at Trent Bridge. Two hat tricks uh, for England in one day internationals. One for Steve Harmison here last year against India and Jimmy Anderson against Pakistan at the over. And Mohamed Ashraf, the hero for Bangladesh on Saturday in Cardiff, in to face the hat trick ball. Chris Tremlett on debut has four slips waiting for a nick and a leg gully. One of the most attacking fields you'll see in one day international cricket. And the cover fielder has come in as well. Can he pick up his hat trick? We'll soon find out. Here he comes. Oh, so close. I think he might have even hit the stumps. That ball might have just dropped on top of the bales. The bales haven't dislodged, and Ashraful is a lucky man, and Tremlett's unlucky. That is basically un oh. oh my god, it did hit on top of the bales and the bales are still there. Look at that. Oh, that's what I call luck. Well, I'll tell you what, he'll never come any closer to getting a hat trick than that. He's actually hit the bales and the bales have stayed on the stumps. This is really unlucky. I thought the, uh, the ball just hit on top of the bales, coming down straight away. That's in the air, there's no mid on, and Ashraful will be off the mark. Don't think he's got enough on it to, to get it over the boundary, although they might run four. Settle for three as Giles does the fielding. Well, he's played himself in now, and he's hit Steve Harmison. Straight over square leg for six. That's the way to play yourself in. That's a cracking shot. Even though when we were talking about he should play himself in, that's the... What can you take that away from? At an absolutely blinder. It's a beautiful shot. Gets into a really good position for pulling and hooking. Look at that. Right from the middle of the bat. Didn't want to even bother to run. He got to sail over the wind square leg boundary for a six. Prompted a change in the field. Fine leg coming up. Square leg going back onto the fence. And he's pulled him over fine leg now. Four more, so ten off two balls to Ashraful. To no ball as well. Ashraful's confidence sky high after taking Australia apart. At the weekend, and... One or two words of advice now for Steve Harmison from Andrew Flintoff, Michael Vaughan. Well, he knew exactly that there was uh, the fielder of the finest come in uh, inside the circle. That's easy pickings. Just pulling it finer. I wonder if the word Yorker featured. Scythed away over extra cover. This won't go for four. Entertaining stuff from Ashraful. Why not, with Bangladesh needing very nearly nine and over? Yes, if you uh, think about uh, Bangladesh, he's really going for a chase. You need a cameo innings, but that kind of innings has to be played for a longer period of time. Sir. Backing out at the last moment, look at that throw. Pretty ordinary stuff for Michael Vaughan. Smeared away over backward point. Ashraful is in stunning form. Are we going to see the repeat of uh, Mohamed Ashraful, what he did against the Australians? Is he going to stay that longer? 
But I can tell you there's some really entertaining stuff from Mohamed Ashraful, making room and crashing it over the point point boundary. Well, he's got a, a stunning eye and brilliant hand-eye coordination. These aren't slow bowlers that are being carved around here. Tremlant's uh, bowling in the mid to high 80s, so too Harmison. Yes, and he'll have a go at anything short as well. But I think he's decided his uh, mind that he's going to go for it. He knows the luck in his favour. Just pr uh, trying to play with that. But is he going to stay there? He's played some extraordinary shots. He has. He's only a very slight individual. He's uh, no size to him at all. The power in the strokes is quite astonishing. Another one straight back over Tremlett's head this time. Didn't get it in the middle of the bat, but uh, no matter, it's four more. What a shot. Everybody enjoying this a little cameo from Mohamed Ashraful. Not afraid to open his arms. This one, a uh, nice roll of the wrist, picked it up early, went back and thwart. Yet another boundary. Oh, Alain Strauss, not quite as successful, still a great over, 14 from it, 66 for two. I think they need to uh, rotate the strike, make sure Ashapur takes as much strike as possible. Not bothering to run for that, he's not moved, not moved a muscle. Didn't need to, he's gone for four. Well, just when I was uh, talking about that uh, he needs to uh, play some strokes, look at that. Did not even bother to run. Played it from the sweet part of his bat. And the moment he hit it, he knew exactly that he doesn't want to run and would just look at the ball crossing over the boundary. He is back on the field. Last ball of Flintoff's over. Edged and wide of slip, and away for four. Nine off the over, 76 for two. It is as if he thinks that the gods are smiling upon him today and that he can get away with virtually anything. Round the wicket now, just to change the angle from Steve Harmison. Over the top, and very quickly down to third man for four more. This is very, very hard to bowl. Well, I think they've done so well, these younger players for Bangladesh, giving the spectators something to cheer and to smile about. Well, he's no shrinking violet, that's for sure. He's a tiny batsman, gives himself room this time and slices the ball down to third man. He's just not being intimidated by England's quicker bowlers. Well, that's going to go for four as well. It was a good delivery. Can't fault Steve Harmison for that one. The attempted Yorker was quick enough, 90 miles an hour, just over 90 miles an hour. And that's the right idea. No, it's a good delivery, and, of course, you need just that slice of luck. Well, he does everything right, Steve Harmison. It's a thick inside edge, is this, that rockets down to fine leg. I think anybody knew where the ball had gone. In the end, fine leg is inside the circle. Crashing shot for more runs. No need to chase it. Three in a row. Well, you've got to admire him. He's moved on to 43 from 19 deliveries. England with a massive score, 391 for four. And here's this young kid saying, OK, well, I'm going to have a go. So, 392 the target. After 15 overs, 92 for two. That's 
it's up in the air, and it's got the legs on it, that's well back. Crashes into the wall. Mohamed Ashrafal has gone to 50 in the blink of an eyelid. 50 from just 21 deliveries. This crowd have gone absolutely wild. The Bangladesh contingent. There's another cracking shot. 50 from 21. Six fours, three sixes. Here we go again. One bounce ball this time. Now, even Andrew Flintoff, who uh, can be as mean as anyone, has fallen into that same trap of just offering length. 12 runs from the over. 16 overs complete. 104 for two. Huge enthusiasm in the appeal. Not out, says uh, umpire Shepherd. Shep says he's hit it. And here's that Yorker, flinked off, full of length, swinging in, inside edge. Crashes into his pads. Shep has the last word. Can't say the lights have actually uh, taken much effect yet. Now, that's not going to carry. Tantalizing. Track again now, it's a brave effort down there. The ball ends up nestling against the boundary. Well, they're loving it. This is not the length to him, just flicks it down the leg side. The real talent, Ahmed Ashraful, who's very excited. The people in Bangladesh, 140 million of them, they've got a star here. Nothing accidental about that one. Perfectly placed, smashed away again. Mr. Giles starting to feel the effect of Mohamed Ashraful's bat as well as Ashraful now moves on to 72. Well, we've seen some terrific sweeping in this game, and that's a solid shot, strong shot. It's not a tickle sweep down the leg side looking for a single. As soon as he gets down on one knee, he's looking for four. It's a great shot. Terrific shot. That's not all just a brute force, is it? The rare talent here, indeed. Well, that's uh, copying Andrew Strauss. It's away for four. He's only 20 years old. Batsmen can play comfortably into their mid-30s. Can you imagine him playing for another 15 years? Certainly very talented. Very, very talented. Optimistic there, but it's the end of a terrific innings. What a shame for Ashraful. It was nearly back-to-back -back hundreds for him. But he's gone for 94. He faced just 52 balls. Surely he should have stayed for that second century. That's a fantastic knock. It's 155 for three.